So this video is all about what all things you should pack before coming to the UK. This video will be having different sections such as we'll be talking about electronics, kitchen item, bedding stuff, toiletry. So there'll be different sections so that when you're coming second time to this video, you can skip around the different sections and you can sort out what all things you should pack. So the very first section of this video is about electronics item. And the very first item is about phone and the charger of the phone. And you definitely need a phone and I definitely recommend you to just bring from your home country because the time when you land here in the UK, so you'll be needing a taxi to go to your accommodation or towards the university. So you need an Uber application. The second application you must download on your, on your phone is Google Maps. And the third one is for the weather as well, just to see the weather forecast, like we need a jacket because maybe when you land in the UK, the weather would be like rainy. So just like you need like three different applications installed on your phone. Maybe I don't think so you need to buy a new phone, even like any random phone would be fine. So that once you come to the UK, maybe you can purchase a new phone and the price price i think if you look for a new phone it is similar price in india versus uk but if you're looking for something like a refurbished phone which is like a new but second hand in uk that's that's like but cheaper so it will be like around three or four hundred pounds of saving if you're buying an iphone for example so like there will be a bit of a saving but like i'll definitely suggest you to bring one kind of a smartphone with you uh, when you're coming to the uk the second item on the list is for your laptop and the charger again there's a conversation around should you bring it from india or should you bring for the uk so anything if you're looking for new the price is the same like for example i bought recently my this macbook over here the price which i'm paying here in the uk is the same price in the india if you're buying a new item but if you're buying a refurbished item or a second hand item then yes again it's way cheaper in the uk as compared to uh, india itself and also like in terms of you're buying an apple product there is a 10 percent student discount which is again available both in india and the uk so my recommendation is just bring your laptop from your own home country that's what i did in my own personal case there isn't like a big difference and the third thing is your headphones and the speakers and the headphones are really important because like i'm staying in a student accommodation there are rooms uh, like i'm staying in the sharing flat so we don't want the noise to kind of scatter around my friends to be disturbed so i always wear headphones in order to listen to a music or a youtube video and you can also bring a speaker with you so that when you go outside with your friends for a camping or for some party or something you can you have some like good speaker to uh, put a music on and the fourth thing is a power bank so when you'll be traveling uh, uh, you know, uh, I think you can just put a power bank in your bag like the small bag which you put in your shoulders so make sure you got a power bank and the fifth thing is all the cables so all the accessories you also need an adapter as well like a uk style adapter because the indian plugs don't work in here so we've got those three rectangle kind of a shape adapter in the uk so you need that adapter as well maybe bring two adapters that will be more than enough now in the second section of this video i want to talk about the clothing items what are things you should bring and here when i came to the uk for the very first time i really struggled with my winters over here and now the brands like Kosha are doing an amazing job in order to know like what are things you should bring the very first thing is a one winter jacket the second is you need a two warm thermals third thing is just bring two sweatshirts and the fourth thing is one woolen glove and two to three pairs of socks and here Kosha is doing an amazing job because they provide all this winter wear in their one marketplace of Kosha itself you can just check their website online and moreover my favorite clothing is their one of the blue t-shirt the base layer which they have got because like you can wear them a t-shirt then a jacket on on top of it or in the summers you can just wear it as a t-shirt it does not age it is machine washable and moreover Kosha provides free consultation on winter wearing on the layering should you wear a jacket in what kind of a climate so based upon the country they give you personalized guidance to you guys who are watching this video and also for the students there will be plenty of offers on the kosha website so do check them out and apart from the winter fear some of the other clothing items which you should bring is three to five pairs of t-shirts uh, then is like one white and black formal shirt and you should also bring one black formal pant as well because black pant will work with both your black shirt and the white formal shirt now my, my, my reasoning over here is that see you might be working in a part-time job let's say a restaurant so you need that black pant and a white shirt kind of a combination there are few restaurants they just request all black so black pant black shirt so these kind of part-time jobs will be requ requesting this kind of a dressing so it's good like if you just bring from india you got the part-time job let's say in one week Time, you can straight away go ahead and do your part-time job you don't have to worry much about the clothing thing over here and also you might be attending interviews as well so again you can wear this formal clothing in the interview I've, I wore my, like black, a white shirt and the black man in my very first interview when I got the job so it's a good combination number six is then you need to bring two jeans it could be blue and black are quite common in the UK so you can bring two jeans I'm a chinos kind of a person bring two chinos I love brown colors so I got like brown chinos as 
as well. So just bring two chinos of your own uh, color of choice. And the eighth is like, uh, I know there are a lot of questions, should you bring a full formal suit or not? And my suggestion is you don't have to bring a suit because you can buy that suit in the UK itself. And carrying a suit is really kind of tedious, isn't it? It's really kind of a heavy, it's going to take a lot of space in your luggage. And you know, the folding would just kind of crumble, isn't it? So just like, Get your suit from UK itself. There's a store here called Slater's. Uh, like, I mean, that's the uh, Slater's bag over here. Like I recently, for my graduation, I bought the, my suit from Slater's and they provide best quality and it's very affordable and cheap price. So you don't have to worry much about bringing a suit. And then I've got one formal shoe. It could be black in color and two casual shoes. And one shoe you will be wearing when you are, you know, <laughs> coming to the UK itself. So there is only one shoe which you need to kind of pack in your bag. So it really saves uh, that luggage space. Then you need to also bring some of the festive clothing. For example, there is Diwali and your friends are wearing kurta and you don't have a kurta. It's very hard to find a kurta in the UK. So it's good to bring one kurta or like a, a traditional dressing with you when you're coming here. Maybe there are some uh, events like Indian society events. Uh, so you may be participating in a dance competition or something. So you need that kind of festive clothing. So again, just bring some of those stuff. And also like then pair of undergarments. I'll recommend you to bring five to ten sets. Then you can bring one belt, like a formal belt one hang handkerchief like hang like a set of handkerchief maybe three to five uh pairs of handkerchief. Last item in the clothing section is your tie, which maybe like some restaurants require when you're working as a part-time uh, waiter or something like that. And also like uh, for your interviews, a tie is really good and completes your formal outlook. So this is the clothing section. And the third section, I'm going to talk about the bedding items. So you can bring two bed sheets with you. And also there's a conversation, should you bring pillows and duvets with you? My recommendation is you don't have to bring it because it's very heavy to carry them and you can buy at very cheap rates in the UK itself. So you don't have to uh, kind of carry do it and a pillow you'll be able to find it on the day one you just go to a local store over here such as primark is a store where you can go and you can i think in primark is around six pounds for a pillow and the good quality 10 pounds 15 pounds for a pillow and for a duvet it is around uh, i mean duvet you have to check i think it's around 15 to 20 pounds it, it will be a little bit kind of expensive but still affordable like 20 pounds is nothing in the uk so you can definitely you know get these two things from here save your luggage space then also you can bring one or two towels with you again just bring few towels once you come here in the uk you can like you know purchase the towels from primark store and also for the kitchen items is my next section of this video uh, again, kitchen items, uh, I think you should purchase it from the UK. It will take a lot of your luggage space, frying pans, saucepans, spatulas, these all things I think you should buy from here. But what you should bring is a plate, a set of a plate and some spoons as well, like knife, forks and all those things which you can bring along with you. Again, like all these things, you can again find it in here, but plates and spoons I'm recommending you because on the day one, uh, you know, you can have at least something, you've got a nice plate to have something on if you're not able to find a plate on day one. So you've got a backup over there. So just bring some, like that's what I did in my case as well. I just brought a plate with me, a set of plate, a microwavable plate, and that's all. And also for the kitchen stuff, try bringing some Maggie's. You can try bringing some masalas, any traditional thing which you eat, you can carry uh, in your luggage. Like there, there is no restriction on such items. And the only thing is that you'll be able to again find Maggie and masala in the UK as well. So it's just completely up to you if you want to bring it or not. You'll be able to find all these things in the uh, UK as well because we've got good Indian stores uh, over here. Also, Amazon is a good friend. So from Amazon, you can buy anything and it will be delivered to UK. And in the next section, I want to talk about toiletry items again. Towel, as I already mentioned before, bring one or two sets. And the second is a toothbrush you need, you need a hair oil, you need a toothpaste and you need a deodorant. And apart from that, like you can also bring a shower, like a shower gel I have not mentioned over here. It is just for your initial days, like for one week, but like you'll get used to the local grocery stores over here, slowly and steadily after the one week. These all things will help you to last in your first week and you can slowly purchase rest all items, you know, once you're in here. The laundry items such as uh, laundry kind of products and all stuff, you'll be able to buy once you're in here. You don't have to worry too much about that. And now specifically, since I am a Sikh, so I represent Sikh community, so something for Sikh students. So you should definitely bring turban. It's really hard to find a turban in here. So bring, I'll say two, three turbans, uh, like one black, is much because a lot of people wear black color in my video i think i've always wear a uh, black color in uk to be honest but also you can bring some colors like different colors different shades bring some more life to it then secondly bring uh, puck pins like don't forget them bring a 50 which i'm wearing over here 
bring some beard oil and any setting stuff which you use for beer so these all things are important and also then in the last section is about medicines again your mom can guide you better than me i'm not her mom but just bring some antibiotics just some calcium capsules or vitamin d it's very hard to find sun in here today also it's raining outside uh, just outside of my window so again bring some vitamin d tablets it's very hard to find sun bring sanitizer with you in your hand luggage essentially so like these are all the items which i wanted to recommend in this video these are all things you should bring and again for the winter wear all the items you should definitely check out kosha and i hope this video was helpful i'll see you in my next video cheers bye bye